Good afternoon, everybody. It's David Perlmutter from Quantum Listing, and welcome to our webinar on how to make retail maps in minutes with Rebly. Uh, we have a guest uh, presenter today, Sam Scarborough, and Sam is my favorite kind of real estate tech founder. He is a commercial real estate broker who had a, uh, a pain point and he decided he was going to solve it. And uh, let me tell you a little bit more about Sam. Here's today's agenda, by the way. Uh, I'm going to introduce Sam. Then uh, he will give us a demo of Rebly and then uh, we'll have time for questions and answers. Uh, so since 2016, Sam Scarborough has been operating as a licensed real estate broker and land developer. Having grown up in East Texas in a family that develops and manages commercial real estate, he has the lifetime of experience needed to help his clients succeed. In the years since he began brokering commercial real estate, the commercial real estate market in Tyler has expanded rapidly, and Scarborough Commercial has been instrumental to that growth. They've brokered tens of millions of dollars in real estate transactions, and Bringing new businesses to the Tyler area is Sam's passion. He loves his community and he wants to see it thrive, and I respect that. And now Sam has a very exciting new venture, which he is about to tell us about, and more importantly, show us. Welcome, Sam. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, that's straight from the website, and I uh, appreciate you pulling that off there. So, just like David said, I am a licensed commercial real estate broker. So, when I show you Rebly, this isn't, you know, me being a uh, plumber or um, electrician or something like that, just trying to get into commercial real estate. I use this every day for all of my listings, and typically, it's the first picture I put up on my listings, and I can show you those listings at some point if you're interested. But basically, I use this map to uh, two main reasons. It is a, uh, some people call it a point of interest map, other people call it a retail site map. And so um, I use this for two things. It is to get new listings. So I will bring this map with me to a new show, to a new uh, listing appointment. And it's a great way to show a potential landlord or an owner that your marketing is top notch. And so they, they love the fact that you've already done some work and, you know, as well as the proposal you put together for them. Uh, that you've got great marketing exposure. And it looks like you spent a lot of money on their property, even though Rebly is pretty inexpensive for everything else out, else out there, which is nothing. So uh, it's $59 per month. Um, I hate when people do a sales pitch and I don't know what it costs. Anyway, it's $59 per month. And that gives you uh, 15 maps per month. And that basically you would make a map every two days, which is most people use four or five or six at the most. So it gives you plenty of maps. Uh, and the reason for that is there's a uh, there's an expense on our side to populate all this stuff just because the expense side of it. So, uh, but, and the other way to do this obviously is to put it in your listings and attract buyers that way to let them know what it is, just like we use retail site maps before. So the way people have been doing this in the past is they've been going to Google, screenshotting their area and then overlaying logos from, you know, um, Discount Tire or Mattress Firm or McDonald's or Starbucks taking, you know, at least half a day or they pay their admin 20 bucks an hour to make this. And then they're already at, you know, four, you know, four hours, you're at 80 bucks. And so, uh, or you could spend $59 and do it yourself in about five to seven minutes. And I don't really, I mean, literally five to seven minutes. It does not take you a long time. Or you pay a design firm, you know, four or $500, which I've done before, unfortunately, um, to make this for you. So anyway, enough talking. I'm going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Excellent. Share. Just share your screen here. You record open preferences. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. David, I hope I can figure this out. I'm going to send a, you'll get a little pop-up on your screen to make you the presenter and just click yes on, on everything. Okay. Well, it wants me to open my preferences. Click the lock icon. Okay. I'm used to doing this on Zoom. Hold on. Zoom support. Okay. Let me try to do this again. One more 
more time. Share screen recording, open privileges. Oh, give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. All right. I wasn't expecting to have any trouble with it. Yeah. If, if need be, I'll I'll be your your fingers. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well, crap. Ugh, God, I didn't think it was going to have any trouble screen sharing. Um, hmm. Well, David, I may have to use you for your, um, I may have to use you for that, I guess. Uh, can you go to rebly.com? Yep, uh, let me just open up a browser window. And... Okay. I'm used to doing this on Zoom, so it's asking me for all these permissions on my MacBook, and uh, it's not showing me what I need to. Uh, let's see. Are you? Uh, let me share my screen now. Permissions, David. Okay. Got my screen. And David, I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you my login, so you can so you can get in there. But if you go to login real quick. you're emailing to me yeah i know it's in the chat box so it's just just you though yeah well, thank you uh, to our viewers for your patience while we uh, work through these yeah it's in your chat box on the on oh, teams on teams so you can just copy and paste it in there got it okay thank you And log in. All right. And then uh, you can just put never on there if you don't mind. Yeah, or exit. Yeah. So go build a map for me. Let us go to build a map. Here we go. Build a map. All right. Okie dokie. So this is the map screen. So we can do this map anywhere in the US, really, actually anywhere in the world if you want to. So, um, Dave, I'm going to go to a spot that I like to do to show people kind of what it does. So can you type in L on the search address? L-I-N-D-A-L-E. D-A-L-E, yep. And then click that first one, Lindale, Texas. So this is just north of me. And David, can you zoom in on that in, that main intersection where I-20 and 69 meet? Yes, go down and then go to the right, to the uh, to the east. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep going. going. Yeah, keep going right there. That main intersection. There we go. Yeah, and you can zoom in. And can you uh, on that southwest corner? There's a gas station there. Just zoom in for me. You can just double click on it. You can just double click if you want. Yeah. Second. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Yeah. So this might be even cooler because I can show David how easy it is. So um, on the top left, there's a button called Outline Property. Okay. On that blue tab. And then click outline subject property. Okay. And then can you highlight that gas station for me? The gas station um, is this part here? No, the, the hard corner. Yeah. Here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, just keep, yeah, click in, yeah, click another one. This is easy, Sam. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, David. <laughs> and then can you click that uh, minus button on the plus and minus on the top right? Just click that minus sign twice. Sure. So there you go. And then go uh, to the logos button on the top left. Okay. And then click load, click load logos for me. So what this is going to be doing it, it's going to be, so the top part is our logos that are pretty common as you see on retail site maps and the bottom are more um, detailed ones that you really don't need, but I added those on there in case. So you could do a select all button, or in this case, I just like to do the suggested categories because mean how many amusement parks are there. So uh, Dave, you click load logos for me. Okay, coming up. All right. So what this do is doing now, you can see on David's screen, McDonald's, Starbucks, BTH Bank, Walmart's popping up. So all this is being aggregated from our back end, as well as a third party service that we use to put these on here. And so the imagery on the back side is, is just what Google has. If you went to the same spot on Google and did satellite, 
this is what you'll see. So our maps are updated as Google's updated. And so uh, we're using an API that will place the logos based off what Google has. And then the neat thing about this as well is the more, as we get users, they upload logos themselves. And so as we go forward and there's logos that are less known, say you're in North Dakota and you know, one, two, three grocery stores up there. Um, Google probably doesn't have that, but a user that may be in that same area has uploaded that before. And so as we go, it's kind of like a crowd sourced logo aggregation, so to speak. So um, David, can you zoom in a little bit on say Starbucks? Uh, yeah. Just put, press that uh, plus key one time for me. There we go. All right. So Dave, can you grab the bottom right of that Starbucks logo yep. and drag it over? I'm going to try to make that bigger. So as you can see that Starbucks, you can make that Starbucks logo pretty big or pretty small. You can just kind of, you can drag it so the white part's not so noticeable, but they get pretty big uh, and you can do, you can do that with any logo you want. And then David, can you grab that cross on the top left? You can pull that any direction. So it'll make a leader line for you. And so, um, yeah, press the minus button on that uh, top right, David. Sure. Yeah. Perfect. That just you can keep it right there in that view. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Dave, can you start grabbing some of these logos and pulling them out of the way of that thing and just kind of showing people what it can do yeah. in there? And then, grab, yeah, yeah, just start pulling those out, kind of make it look nice. And uh, so, and the neat thing about this as well is I won't subject David to doing this, but there's a button called Remove by Category. And say you wanted to remove Hampton Inn or any of the hotels or any of the QSRs, you can you can delete those too if you're in a heavy populated area that say you're in Seattle and you want to get rid of a lot of different things that you don't need. Even if you load them in here, you can still remove them in bulk. So you don't have to press exit every time you want to. So, and Dave, you could press, press that X button on Burger King. So it's really easy to delete stuff on here. So, I mean, you could spend quite a bit of time doing this if you want, but the really cool thing that I have David uh, show us is, David, press add logo on the top left. Yep, in there, and then drag your cursor over the map somewhere. So there should be a little, yeah, plus sign. So just click right there. And so uh, type in Chili's for me. And so click Chili's. And so you can see Chili's is gonna pop up. So add logo to map. There it is. Yep. And then David, you can pull that if you want to pull that, that bottom right part and make it a little bit bigger, you, everything that you could do on the other logos you can do with this one. Um, well, I think we clicked the inside too quick, but, um, yeah, but anyway, it, it will, it was, yeah, we, we, we didn't need to click the inside of that, but that's what kind of messed that part up. But, um, but yeah, you can just exit out of that, but any, everything that, that logo, that everything we did to Starbucks QT and all those, we could do that with that Chili's button. So, the next cool thing, Dave, can you go back to that add logo button and do the same thing? You bet. Yep. And then just click on it, click on the map somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So the, the left side is searching our back end directly. And so for some reason, between the load logos automated feature and then the left side, the right side is you can upload any image that you want. And so if you want to put in a uh, if you want to go to Google and type in grocery store logos, and I don't know if David, you feel comfortable doing all that, but um, if you went to Google on a different tab and save to your device a grocery store logo, yeah, if you don't mind, you open up a new tab, yeah. Good, Just uh, type in grocery store, grocery store logo. And then just save, yeah, save image as on that first one. Yeah. And just label it so you know how to get back to it. You can put on as long you put on your desktop or something if you don't mind. I think it'll pop up better. Uh, my desktop is messed, but here we'll give it a shot. Yeah, wherever you think you can find it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, hopefully that saves. And, oh, did that save it? Uh, you know what? Let me. Uh, I'll see you there. Maybe a different that, location. I know. Be able to. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then go back to lovely for me. Uh, yes, I can. Yep. And then go to choose file. Actually, here, I can just drag it up there. You can drag, yeah, you can drag it in there. There it is. So you can see that, if you have pull that bottom right for me. So everything, any, literally any image 
will automatically format to be placed in here. And so I just got an email on my end saying that, you know, my, if this is my account, but that a new image has been uploaded. So the reason I do that is in case someone decides to put a bunch of smiley faces into our back end, I can make sure that doesn't happen. Um, so as we go forward, all of, we get quite a few logos added every day. And so as the system goes along, it'll get smarter and smarter. But as you can see, just based off this, you're going to get quite a few logos going in there. So, and Dave, you don't have to price anything right now, but so that's the add logo function. Just remember the left, the, we have a main automation with load logos. It'll automatically pull it, add logo. You can look directly into our back end, which should have the logo you're looking for if it's somewhat common. And then, or you can add your own specific logo. And then next time you've loaded logos, that logo will pop up there. So uh, you can clear all logos, obviously get rid of, getting rid of everything, but don't do that, David. Uh, and then if you need to change the logo size, you can do, you can, you can press the plus logo for me. So it'll change the ones that you haven't touched. That way, if you're trying to customize a certain, if you want to make Walmart really big, you know, you don't want that to adjust with everything else. So, and then minus logo size, obviously that'll make everything smaller. And then the remove by category button is kind of what I was saying earlier. If you wanted to remove certain things, like if you, if you click lodging right there, David, above it, uh, two above, yeah, right, two below. Right there. So click that check mark and then remove unchecked. All right, well, that, that you, can, you can see next to McDonald's, all of the hotels are gone now. So you can easily get add things and get rid of things if you want to. So, uh, David, the next thing if you could do is click add text. Uh, on the top left on the very top middle. Yeah. Okay. Add, right there. And then click on the map, like on the on the interstate, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. And then just double click where it says add text. And then just type anything you want in there. Say interstate 20. Okay. Perfect. And then can you write and then right click on that box for me? All right. So this will allow you to change the font size. So if you could put like 20 on there, David. Yeah, change it to red, put it to 20. I mean, you can go as big as you want, obviously, but we'll just do 20 and then save it. And then pull that bottom right and just kind of make it so it fits right. Yeah. So, and then obviously that little cross right there, if you want to move that around, you can, that leader line will follow you. And then data, can you click that target? Look at, yeah, the one next to the cross, click that circle with a dot in the middle of it next to the cross. Yeah, so that allows you to move that around without, if you don't want the leader line on there, if you just wanted to move that text or that, it, it works on the logos too. If you didn't want that leader line, for some reason, say Starbucks was pulled right there where it's supposed to, but you wanted to, you want it to be somewhere else for whatever reason, you can use that circle to move that around without that leader line following you, following with it, with you. So, well, obviously we can make a prettier map than this, but we're going to we're going to call it a day. Say this is exactly the way you want this map to look for whatever reason. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. David, can you go to layers real quick? I'll show you a couple couple things on layers. Uh, sh can you press show labels? And this is a good way to do it. Like if you're, you know, man, what, what was that? What's that uh, gas station or restaurant next to that site? I just can't remember it. You don't want to go back to Google. So you can use this to infill logos if you need to. So you can and then press hide labels for me. And then click on add company name. So this shows what those companies are. Because I know in a lot of these retail maps, if you're not super familiar with North Dakota and there's a really famous grocery store up there and you're just like, I don't know what like everyone knows a grocery store is except for the guy in Texas. And so this allows you to show what the name of that company is. But most of the ones on these are obviously very noticeable, like Sonic and Walmart. Everyone knows what that is. So uh, and then show roadmap is it's not it's it's the um, just a regular general view. So you can yeah, then you can you can shut that version off if you don't mind, David, you can go back to the imagery. Okay, so uh, and David, can you press save map? So the way Rebly, the way I designed it, it, it goes from left to right. And so, David, can you uh, do that folder drop down? Yeah. Yeah, I have to do that. yeah. And just put that into our test folder. Yeah. And so the the map name is what's going to pop up on the bottom left. So I usually put an address in there, or the name, or the title of the 
uh, the listing that I have. So you can exit out of this and then you have to save it before you can share it. So if you go share on the, it's the gray tab to the right. So you've got three options. PNG and JPEGs are pretty much the same thing. Um, but so you have PNG, JPEG, PDF, or share link. So can you click the PNG one for me, David? Yes, I can. Great. So that bottom uh, part of your screen should pop up with a, uh, yeah. So click that download that pop just popped up. And for those who are curious, uh, PNG links are, or PNG uh, files are higher quality graphics then. Yeah. Yeah. But I know some some subscription services only take JPEGs, and so this gives you flexibility too. But David's absolutely right with the with the graphics. Hang on, here's uh, try to bring yeah. that file over. Just show it. Hang on. There it is. Did that JPEG pop up? Yeah. So anyway, the... this is what. So obviously you can you know you can make this look as as good as you want, but you would just file and you would save this to your device. Um, so this is what this is what it looks like. And so David can go right back to, to the main main page. Uh, the neat thing that I like too, uh, David, click that share link. Yeah. Oh, click click share. And okay. then go to share. Yeah. And then can you copy and paste that into a new tab? Uh, yeah, sure. And copied. I'm also going to paste it into the chat here. Great. I think I am at least. It's not letting me do that right now, but okay. Oh, okay. And Dave, can you back up uh, on the plus and minus? Just back up really pretty far for me. So uh, yeah, I guess zoom in just a little bit, but I just want to show kind of how far this thing pulls. So the cool thing about this URL is I've done this before. I've, I'll send this to clients just to kind of give like a wow, kind of kind of a wow factor. Uh, they can't change anything on the map, so everything is static. But if they want to see, wow, there's I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, and then so it looks like you spent, I hate to say spent a lot of money, but it looks like you did a lot of work to get all these logos on there because they don't know what Revly is. Your owner typically won't, so um, they're able to fly around their property and say, wow, I had no idea. That this was here. I had a good example here in Tyler. Planet Fitness just opened up, and I did a map for Cumberland Village, and Planet Fitness popped up, and I put that as a post, and then ended up being in the paper the next day because they Google knew about this before everyone else did, and it, it was found from a Revly map. So um, we got some publicity from that, but that was, that was pretty cool. So anyway, this allows an owner to kind of go through Lindale and see what uh, what they've got. So David, go back to build a map right on that other tab. Yeah. And so you can X out of that. Yeah. And then go uh, my maps on the gray tab. Okay. So click, uh, if you don't mind, let's do, um, yeah, let's do 5133 Troop Highway, Tyler, Texas. These are these are my listings that I've that I've used roughly for. So the, the reason I'm showing this is even after you do all this and you spend a lot of time doing the outline getting the, this is a this is a listing that we just got this week but um you can always go back into old maps and update this so david can pull you can you can pull these logos wherever he wants and up so anything that you did you can go back in and do again so because say you got the listing across the street and you're like man i don't want to do all the logos all over again because i've already done it uh you can go back in and just clear the yellow drawing and redraw it somewhere else that you have the new listing for. So, uh, and really that's it. The, I put the directions on the, on the far right. Um, they're all self-explanatory pretty much. And you do this once or twice. I mean, me and David, he's only seen this once and him and I went through it. Uh, this was not planned either. This is just me not being able to share my screen. Um, but it's pretty simple and I didn't want to overcomplicate it because I know how busy we all are uploading different things to Crexy or LoopNet or, catalyst or you know whatever whatever else is out there now but um that's pretty much it and i'm happy to answer questions if i can yeah no, this is great i mean i used to do these things on uh google earth and it would take forever uh, yep yep yeah i just got tired of doing it and i knew there was a there had to be a not to be cheesy but there had to be a better way to do this and so uh, 
you know, we're, we've gotten a lot of, a lot of brokers and a lot of economic development councils signed up to, to do this because it's just a, it's a problem and it, this shouldn't take that long to do. And so, and, you know, uh, if you subscribe to Build Out or Realnex or Sharp Launch, uh, something like this is included in their bundle of tools, but you're going to be paying a lot more each month. Yeah. Uh, yeah than you do here and if you already have uh you know marketing software and uh, you know crm and so you don't need necessarily all the you know great services they offer so if you want to build your own little tech stack uh, to me Rebly seems like a no-brainer addition mm -hmm. to that yep yep and i use this on all my own listings and people love it so and i use it to my for my listing meetings and so uh it's just, it's all these little things add up and this map is very visual for a lot of people. Yeah. And it's very intuitive too. I mean, it's really, you know, so, I mean, yes, you talked me through it, but I feel like if I wanted to, I could go and do another map and you know, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't take me forever. I'd be able to do it no. pretty quickly. No, most people get one down and they're pretty much set. I mean, it's, you know, just go left to right and, you know, that's about it. Well, that's really awesome. Um, I guess for those who are watching in real time, uh, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask? You can either uh, speak your questions or add them to the chat. Uh, either one. Is yeah, I have a question. I have a question on this. When the graphic is created in the PNG or JPEG function, you have that URL to send to whoever it is. They don't have to be logged into the system to view it, correct? They don't have to go to your website and create an account, let's say. That's right. correct. Yeah, that that share link is viewable to anybody, and they do not even have. They've never been a Rebly or any. They do not have to have an account. Okay, and then when you're creating the map, uh, can you do this on a on a zip code basis? Like for example, I want to I want to find the uh, the retail sites in eight nine one two three only. You know, can you do something like that? It doesn't. The the way the API works, it's just a large area, and so it goes even above and beyond. I mean, if you saw that Lindale map, we we cover multiple zip codes and you can't really geo do it, uh, geo locate it. So it's just based off a large area, but it covers multiple zip codes uh, for the most part. It usually does an entire city. Okay. And then one more question uh, regarding like a category of, of property, like will, would it be able to, to, to map out, let's say an opportunity zone parcel versus a non-opportunity zone one? We, do, we don't have that layer in for opportunity zones, but that could be, I've never thought about that, but that could be something we add. Yeah. I don't have, yeah, I don't have the zones like that specified. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, that, that's something that you should do because that's something that's really needed right now. And I, I work a lot in opportunity zones and uh, mm -hmm. that would really, that would be so helpful. You can't even tell you, so. Yeah, anyway. that's a great idea. I hadn't thought about that, but I'll, I'll look into, because I, I know that there's a map online I always check out and so, but that would be a cool feature to have. Yeah, Ron, that's yeah. a good idea. And, you know, you'll know, Sam, and I've been doing quantum listing now for about seven years, that, uh, you know, a lot of our best ideas we get from from our users. So, uh, you oh, know, yeah. listen to the guys like Ron, because uh, they'll... Yeah. One, one, more, one more question, guys. Uh, you know, you mentioned that add a logo thing. Sometimes when you grab logos, they're, they're, way, they're way large or they're way small. Does the system resize it to a default value and can you change that default value yep so if you if you go I've, I've done thousands of these logos to test everything i've never had one that wasn't formatted correctly for readily <laughs> yeah yeah so you should be just fine but if there was ever a case where it wasn't i mean i'm so easy to get a hold of it's crazy so i mean my personal cell phone number is on here so you could literally you could call me at midnight and i'd be happy to help you well, I won't do that, but that's good. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. Well, you should be fine. Yeah, that's all I had. Thank you very much. This was, this was interesting. Great. Great. Thank you, Ron. Yeah. Anybody else have questions? It's, uh, Sam, you should be very happy that you got a question because real estate brokers don't like to ask questions in public. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always appreciate questions and I like the uh, people think of stuff I don't think of. So uh, I like the opportunity zone idea. Ron, you're a brave man, Ron, and I salute you. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, well, any other questions or is there anything that anybody would like to see before we uh, 
and uh, say goodbye. Let's uh, move to uh, back. Uh, if you want to get in touch with Sam, uh, here is his phone number. It's uh, 903-570-7366. Is that that's that uh, uh, cell phone number you were talking about that we can all call you at midnight and uh, yes. info at rebly com and rebly is r e b l i e dot com and if you want to reach me and have any questions about quantum listing uh, you can reach me at david at quantum listing dot com. Yeah, and I'm a quantum listing subscriber as well, and it's been it's been great for me to to get some additional exposure. So excellent. Well, thank you, Ron and uh, Sam. And uh, we had one more, uh, another, oh, and Chris, thank you all for uh, being here. But uh, especially you, Sam, I mean, I think what you've done here is incredible. It's intuitive. It's effective. It's not going to cause brain damage to anybody for the amount of time it's going to take to put one of these together. So I salute you and uh, you know, as a fellow real estate broker uh, in tech, uh, I know that it's a lot of work uh, doing these, you know, doing two things like this at once. So uh, congratulations on pulling this one off. I appreciate it, David. I wanted to make it so simple. Just, you know, I know how everything, how everything else is so complicated these days, but I try to make it simple for everybody. But I, uh, I really appreciate y'all having me on, and it's been great. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right.